Want to speak real Swedish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SwedishPod101.com. Do you know how to say, I love you in Swedish? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with how to express your feelings to your loved one. Jag älskar dig. Jag älskar dig. Jag älskar dig. Or if you want to explain those butterflies in your stomach, you can say Jag är förtjust i dig. Jag är förtjust i dig. Jag är förtjust i dig. And when you feel that I love you is not enough, you can say Ord kan inte beskriva min kärlek till dig. Ord kan inte beskriva min kärlek till dig. Ord kan inte beskriva min kärlek till dig. You just learned three different ways to say I love you in Swedish. In this lesson, we learn some of the most common greetings used in Sweden. Är ni redo? Are you ready? Så låt oss börja. Så let's start. The most commonly used informal greeting is Hey. Hey. Hey means hi. We use it when we meet people. We can use this greeting with anyone. Yet, it isn't the only way to greet someone. We also have hallo. Hallo. Which means hello. And more time-specific greetings like god dag. God dag. Literally, god dag means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use god dag only during the daytime, from morning until evening. During the evening, we say god kväll. God kväll. Kväll is Swedish for evening. So god kväll means good evening. Finally, in the morning, we say god morgon. God morgon. This means good morning. However, instead of god dag and god kväll, it's much more common to just use hey. Good morgon, on the other hand, is still the most common phrase to use in the morning. When saying goodbye, we say hej då, hej då. When parting for a long time, we often add ha det bra, ha det bra, which means be well. Finally, in Swedish, we have an expression meaning see you soon that can be considered both formal and informal. Vi ses. Vi ses. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Swedish. Let's review them all again. When meeting friends or someone we don't know. Hej. There also is hallå. In the morning, god morgon. During the day, god dag. And in the evening, god kväll. When leaving we say hej då. When leaving, but want to imply, see you soon, vi ses. To which we sometimes add, ha det bra, or be well. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Elin's insights. In formal situations, Swedish people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. However, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we hug. Swedish people are generally shy and might not take the initiative to hug. But don't be afraid to do it. It's always appreciated. Want to speak real Swedish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SwedishPod101.com. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use ursäkta mig, in other words, when apologizing in Swedish. We use ursäkta mig in formal situations, such as when we are ordering something in bars or restaurants. For example, ursäkta mig, en kaffe tack. Excuse me, a coffee please. We can also use it when asking a question. Ursäkta mig, var är toaletten? Excuse me, where is the toilet? The common way to say excuse me is Ursäkta mig. Ursäkta mig. Just like Ursäkta mig, we can use förlåt when apologizing for an action. Förlåt means I'm sorry. Förlåt. You can also hear some Swedes say sorry, which is a loan word from English, and it's often used as a quick apology amongst friends. Both of these phrases can be used for either excuse me or I'm sorry. 
But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use the word förlåt. The phrase förlåt, jag är jätteledsen för det, means I'm really sorry about that. This can be used in both formal and informal situations. Förlåt, jag är jätteledsen för det. First we have the familiar förlåt. Next we insert a Swedish pronoun for I, jag. Then är, which means am. Followed by lessen, which means sad. Again, you can see the use of the word jätte in front of an adjective, just like in lesson two. Finally, we have the phrase för det, meaning about that. Förlåt, jag är jätteledsen för det. Now it's time for Elin's insights. In Sweden, if you accidentally bump into someone, you might not get any response. But to be polite, we either say, ursäkta mig, or förlåt. You can also use these phrases when you want to say, sorry, can you repeat what you just said? Do you know how to say thank you in Swedish? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with the easiest one. Tack. Tack. Another way to say thank you is... Tack så mycket. Tack så mycket. Finally, here's a third way to express your gratitude. Tackar. Tackar. Okay, let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Tack. Tack. Tack så mycket. Tack så mycket. Tackar. Tackar. Well done. You just learned three different ways to say thank you in Swedish.